So let's go to Chris in Dallas, Texas. Chris, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. I appreciate you taking my call. Sure. How can I help? So uh, currently I'm a mechanical designer uh, and I have a wife and a child and another child on the way. And I'm working towards an electrical engineering bachelor's degree. Um, So I stay very busy, but I'm starting to get a little discouraged. I'm in my dream field, not my dream job yet, but I have a lot of potential for growth. Mm -hmm. And I'm just not sure if getting the degree is going to be worth it in the end, if say it you know, doubles or, or has the time that it's going to take to get to the dream job. Well, do you need the electrical engineering degree to get to the dream job or is there another path or two? Um, I, I think I could get to the dream job without it. I think it will take a lot longer. But then I also think to myself, once I get to the dream job, if I want to go further, it might be a lot tougher without that degree. But it's just very discouraging uh, in the meantime. Okay, what's so discouraging? Because what you just lined up for me says that this is a really good plan because it gives you options, gets you to the dream job, plus allows you to continue to expand in the dream job. So I feel like it's a good thing. What's so discouraging that it's going to take you a few more years to get done? I think that's probably the the main part of it. It's just the time that's going into it. Okay, but hold on. So um, let's let's do a little fun exercise, okay? Okay. Let's just say that I could fast forward it right now. Well, so I want you to go in your mind to two years from now. Is that what you think it's going to take? I think it'll probably be closer to four or five oh, years. Oh, I'm sorry. Five. Okay, I get it. Oh, boy, this is even better. Okay, let's just fast forward to four or five years from now, and everything starts moving for you. What do you think Chris, four or five years from now, says to himself about this moment right now? What does he say to you when you get on the other side of it and things start moving? What does he say to current Chris? I imagine he's going to tell me it was all worth it. I think so, Chris. In fact, I know so. So, listen, man, I feel you. I, can I just tell you a second? I, it took me seven years from the time I started from scratch trying to get into broadcasting, seven years to walk into the door in June 1, June 1 of 2014 here at Ramsey Solutions. Then I had to, and I was in, I was in my sweet spot. I was using what I did best to do what I love, to create results that matter. But it was not the dream job because I had to say goodbye to the Ken Coleman show to come here knowing that I believe that I believe this is where I was supposed to be. And God had a huge, huge, huge opportunity for me if I was faithful and I paid my dues. So I did it again. And it was another three years before I stepped into this current role. You know, my dream job, Ken Coleman show, I'm speaking, writing books, part of the succession plan here at Ramsey Solutions. I mean, it's, it's the dream. But dude, do the math on that. What's seven plus three? That's 10 years right there. Okay, you're looking at four to five. So you can do it because I did it. And here's the deal. Your mindset has to be, I'm not where I want to be right now, but I'm headed there. And this is the price of admission. And you're always focused on your future in the sense of, that's where I'm doing, that's the reason I'm doing all of this. And four to five years is going to go really quick. And you're doing things all along the way to make connections, to get better in other areas outside of the degree thing. And you are just constantly building. Think of it like building a wall. You're building a brick wall, and you're just, it takes one brick at a time, one brick at a time, one brick at a time. It doesn't feel like a lot until you look up and you go, oh, we just finished that wall. Now we can start on the other wall. So I think your mindset has to be, is this going to be worth it? And you consistently ask yourself that. And if the answer is yep, then you just retrain your brain. So you're just frustrated right now because you're like, oh, I just want it now. And I think partly because you feel like you can do it without the degree. Am I right? Yeah, that's exactly it. All right, so that's my last piece. I've just set you up. I put you in a corner on purpose, Chris. I want to push you. Don't stop doing the degree right now. But what if you try to circumvent the degree? Because that's where your greatest frustration is. And you told me a few minutes ago that you thought you might be able to do it without the degree. Why not try that? And if we find out a year from now that you can do it, then we can stop the degree. And I don't even think that's wasted money. But I, th- I think you I pursue both paths right now. What's, what is there to lose? Well, I'm, you know, I'd spent a few, time, few years in college. Well, so what? You don't have to keep going. You know, but then you also said, wait a second, I need that degree for later on. But what if you could get where you want to go and you temporary pause on the education and then pick it back up later so that you can keep growing? I just think there's a couple ways to get at this and you're only thinking one way. Make sense? Yes, sir. Yeah. 
All right, Chris, you got some work to do, don't you? Yeah. All right, get after it. Chris, you can do this. You can do this. I want you pursuing multiple paths right now, and then we see where the momentum is, and we just keep on stepping.